This is Christina Fiore of MedPage Today. An FDA advisory panel has recommended that bevacizumab no longer carry an indication for breast cancer. MedPage Today's Emily Walker was at the hearing, and for context, we turn to Dr. Paula Silverman, the director of the Breast Cancer Program at University Hospital's Case Medical Center in Cleveland. I certainly don't think the book is closed on bevacizumab or that we know everything we should know. We have to keep going with clinical trials and with um, good research into this drug and how to use it most effectively. Silverman says that several trials of bevacizumab in breast cancer are still in the works. We do want to continue to study this drug because it does have an impact in breast cancer. And it, there's clearly a signal here. Clearly, more patients respond when they get bevacizumab than when they don't. Uh, clearly, there is prolongation of disease-free survival. And those are important endpoints, although they may not be the endpoints that the FDA is looking at today. Um, but those are very important endpoints. And I do think that more studies are needed to find which patients should be given bevacizumab and at what point in their cancer journey should they be given bevacizumab. But the decisions may make physicians a bit more conservative in their use of the drug. However, and I do think when it brings to the, the eye the three large studies that don't show survival advantage and just show a rather modest overall improvement in disease-free survival, I think it gives us pause when we use these drugs. So I think we'll probably pull back a bit and be at least more conservative. The drug is still indicated for colorectal, lung, and kidney cancer, as well as glioblastoma. For MedPage Today, I'm Christina Fiore.